actually smiling just now and chuckling because I just realized what I'm going to write for the title of this YouTube. It's, uh, <laughs> this is a very memeable project, so I very much enjoy covering uh, rare finance, right? It's a, it's a pe Pepega Pepe the Frog theme, you know, or Pepe Industries themed uh, tomb fork on Phantom. And uh, yeah, it, it just made me chuckle. <laughs> it just made me chuckle. <clears throat> and and of course, um, what's his name on YouTube? Cause you always comment on it. But yeah, I always have that frog in my throat. So I'm sure you're definitely going to. Let me make sure I get your name, cause you've actually been pretty cool and commenting on the YouTube videos. Eventually, I won't be able to see it, cause you know this channel will be so big. There'll be like 50 trillion, you know, comments. But let's see. Yes, big boy. Yeah, shout out to big boy. You have like a green ape. You have a you have an ape for a picture with green eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We are all degenerate apes, right? <clears throat> so, all right. So this is uh, definitely the project for you. It's a very hilarious Pepe the Frog themed, uh, you know, like a finance Pepe themed project. And it pays like crazy, crazy high APR, especially on Yield Wolf. Now, it used to be like 25 to 30%, but this morning or late last night, I was asleep. Uh, Andre Cronje and his like buddies decided to just like ditch Phantom, like literally ditch Phantom. So that's why uh, everything's going to hell right now on on uh, Phantom Network. The good news is it does appear that crypto overall is going back up. So let's see what's Phantom at right now. Is it catching a bid? Yeah, even Phantom's going back up too. So right now there's just massive whale dumping from Andre Cronje and probably everybody invested in Solidity and all that stuff. So gas fees was at one point like 20,000 for Phantom. Now it's back down to, well it was, I literally just checked before I hit the start record button. It was at 30,000 to 4,500. So, you know, but these things will eventually, you know, work itself out because basically what's happening is all their contracts, I, I figure it was Solidity, right? All their contracts are basically being dumped on. Everyone's, you know, losing money, blah, 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 blah. And then now they're all just trying to exit. And the good news is, you know, even though we're going to lose like a lot of technical ability that Andre brought to the chain, Look, there's plenty of smart coders out there, right? And most of them are not assholes. So Phantom is basically going to be better off with it. So, you know, because like I actually still have a couple of idiots, you know, Andre Simps just trying to troll me on Twitter. I don't actually report them. I, mean, I just block them because they're like, whatever. So I'm kind of hoping that this will be a wake-up call for Phantom to actually get their shit together and like actually start doing something. All right, because AVAX already has subnets, right? It's in alpha stage, but it basically works. Krabata game, people are already shifting themselves over to the Krabata game subnet. So, you know, so that's the nice thing about AVAX. People are actually nice on AVAX because, like, yeah, we're hogging up the gas fees, so let's try to work something out. You don't see anything like that at all in Phantom because apparently, like, a lot of things were promised on Phantom and then nothing happens. It's, it's like such bullshit. And, of course, you always have the super predator problem, right, with the and the financial super predators. So it, it's just a mess. So, you know, flushing out the toxic assholes in Phantom will be really good for Phantom. And then, let's see. Oh, and then now I'm in another chain called Osmosis, which is the Cosmos network, essentially, their, their ecosystem, right? They, ha they actually already have basically subnets already, and they've been doing it for a while. So AVAC is actually catching up to them. So I'm going to actually do one video on that because it, because the thing is my old political buddies got me into like an exclusive discord, but you got to pay 500 bucks for it. You know, so shout out to Joe the boomer. So, so there's a lot of exclusive content that, you know, I can't share with you, but I'm trying to think I could probably tell you about osmosis, which is this one. In fact, I might've done a video on this before. I think I did. Yeah, here we go. App on osmosis. Yeah, 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 whatever. So what's good about this is this is basically where you get a bunch of free tokens, right? And then I just didn't understand how this whole stupid thing worked. But basically what happens is you can pick any of these pools and then sometimes they'll have lots of like free coins, like literally free coins. If I can just find it. 
and they call it external incentive pools and then you can see how many epochs are remaining to get them so these are all like free coins yeah actually it tells you right here what free coins you get so right now I am in what pool number it's 560 I think I believe yeah I'm in this one UST Osmo so I'm in this one so I'm getting free Lunas right and yeah basically you just take your pick and just get free stuff so in my case like Osmo you don't make as much money doing this right as we we are doing with this however this is way more stable so if you're actually looking to park a large amount of money this is actually where you should go osmosis now the only downside is it's kind of a pain in the ass to shift money the first time around to do this because i used hotbit and my withdrawal fees was seven to ten dollars right it's it's very expensive but if you try bridging it it's even more expensive i was quoted like forty dollars right to shift die from avax go to Osmo over here it was it was insane so and then you could see like the all-time pools here now another downside to this site is it, it's just confusing as hell to read this it's like what are you getting into but the gas fees are practically non-existent it's like zero or basically like a fraction of like you know 11 trillion decimals and the price is very stable you know so and you're getting free coins so so basically the hard work is trying to figure out which of these pools are good all right but that's why joe the boomer has you know makes you makes you pay 500 bucks for his exclusive tips because he does all the research and you just you know follow his tips i guess you could choose not to follow it but then what's the point of you <laughs> paying him 500 bucks if you're not going to listen to him so uh so so that's pretty much uh that's pretty much it and because i already know pretty much we already know how this works Right now, I don't want to do any of these crazy things. I only go with like the really top coins because it's still pretty good APR. So I am in 560, right? So, I mean, I know we're supposed to talk about Pegas, but we'll get to that in a second. Right, because again, I'm just like all over the place. Yeah, so you can see the APRs. Just basically bonding basically means that you have to lock your tokens for this amount of days. So if you really need your money in a hurry, uh, you're kind of screwed. Wait, UST Osmo, yeah. So pretty much all rewards are paid out apparently on every epoch or every 24 hours. So low gas fees, in near instant transactions, and you don't really have to do that much, right? The only downside again is you don't make as much money doing what we're doing, right, with Tomb Forks, but that what they lack in APR, they more than make up for with stability, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for high yield stability. Right? Why do you think I actually like PDO so much, right? P dollar. It's because it's high yield, uh, high yield stable coin farming, essentially. In fact, the current crap that's going on, PDO is actually the only one, that, one of the few that's doing well. Snowy Owl is the other one that's doing well. Because again, Joe tokens are kind of like a stable coin. So, you know, and, you know, here you go. Right? So it's the same thing here. But, uh, but again, you know, Again, I don't want to accidentally. Well, actually, there is. I mean, it won't be spilling because there's like a bunch of other pools that I haven't even mentioned. And there's a bunch of two, uh, pools where you just got a bunch of free coins again, right? And then you just, you know, stake this. But I personally am just doing. Eventually, I'm just going to do what Joe the Boomer is recommending because I didn't tell you what he recommended, obviously, because that's exclusive content. So you have to pay him the 500 bucks. Uh, I have to talk with him about you know an invite for discord because he does have a free channel so i want to talk to make sure i talk to him about that first <sighs> right before i throw out the discord invite link and again i only want major coins because i know terra luna is legit right osmo is legit and of course ust right this this is terra us uh stable coin right because i want because because uh, i mentioned that before in my stable coin video like a while back so these are all very stable coins in fact you know, I'm very confident. Like, if I had, if I actually had like five, ten million dollars, I would actually put it into this. Believe it or not, right? And does it tell me the TVL? Oh yeah, the TVL is like two hundred eighty-one point seven million dollars. So I'm in very good company, all right. And I, I'm pretty. I mean, I literally just got in this last night because so much crap happened, and all I did yesterday was try to take a break, right? But you know, God always has different uh, plans, right? So that's fine. 
So I'm guessing that there's always going to be just a bunch of these free things all over the place, right? So, but I'll make a video about this and talk about it. Okay, so, uh, all right, so back to uh, Papega Industries, because that's my little nickname for this. Uh, this is a very solid project. Uh, it pays an extremely high APR, and in fact, I'm going to be dollar cost averaging into this. Before, because la last night I bought back in the two shares, so I was very happy to see it come back up. But right now, there's an exceptional event going on with Andre Kranje, like, you know, abandoning shit. So, you know, that'll just, you know, in fact, I'm going to keep it, I'm going to keep this open for now. Yeah, see, it's down to 3,300 already, so. Yeah, you can actually see what's going on. So, yeah, I think by, like, by tonight, I should see a somewhat more reasonable fee. I mean, we are talking, like, probably several billion dollars just shifting all over the place. So, I bet people are bridging like crazy. All right, so. But, yeah, I think as long as Andre you know, doesn't go to like a small blockchain that we care about. I think if he joins something like Osmo or even, you know, AVAX or Binance Smart Chain, those communities are, <clears throat> are way stronger and way nicer and way bigger, right? Because Phantom is kind of like a, it's still actually kind of a small blockchain. I think the negative influence of Andre should be more or less mitigated by the larger blockchains, you know, this, uh, you know, depending depending on, you know, what, what Andre decides to ultimately do. So, yeah, but, you know, that's how it goes, so. All right, so anyway, uh, BASE used to be, that's the other thing, too. <laughs> so, this thing is actually pegged to the BASE token. So, the nice thing about BASE finance, right, because I did the video on that, is because I have a smart APR system, they're tied to two. They probably have some kind of actual direct partnership with Harry Yee. So they're a very stable project, right? So it's a stable project upon a stable project, right? That pays a much higher APR. So that's why I really liked Rare, right? That's why this is really solid, right? Notwithstanding the stupid uh, phantom FUD that's going on. So it is quite over peg, right? But it was holding 18 to $22 very well up until last night because of the, you know, stupid FUD. So I think it should eventually go back up, but I'm just gonna dollar cost average into this because you know, let me actually check what's rare or based at right now on my deck screener. Based is a dollar ninety, and the B shares are sixteen fifty. So yeah, so even they're under a lot of pressure. So, and the next video I'm actually doing is going to be. Gray Finance, because that's also on Yield Wolf. I'm actually in a new project too called uh, XO on AVAX. They have a really nice website, but it's basically uh, in a Genesis pool. Uh, they have a Tomb Raiders audit already and it checks out, but it's still too new, so that's why I'm just mentioning to you if you want to check it out and try to Google for it. Otherwise, I'm not going to show it because, again, I want to make sure I only show you guys like legit projects that are not run pulls, right? Because that's the only, that's really the only requirement. Yield Wolf, right? Unless I need the content, then I'll do something without Yield Wolf. And then two, don't be a scam. I mean, I'm not asking for much here. So, all right. So this thing is pegged to base. So that's why it's 5.6 above peg. And this is actually kind of low. It could go lower, though, because, I don't know. It's, I mean, we're just going to have to see what happens with the whole Phantom FUD. I mean, I already see two shares and three shares already kind of coming back up, even amidst these crazy gas prices so we'll just see what happens ah very convenient so another thing i like is they have a nice ui and everything is like you know convenient for you and me right you can add your tokens with this metamask icon here so if you want to go into the base tokens which is rare based lp you're getting 18.67 percent if you want to do shares you get less, which is 13.56%. So already I can tell they're doing the exact same thing as based finance, which is uh, I call I just call I just call a smart APR system because you always want to overweight. You always oh, great. My mom's calling. Don't have time. I don't really want to talk to my parents anyway. So it's so they clearly have. They probably know the base devs, right? So they probably were told the same thing that base like, oh yeah, this is what works for us. Make sure Rare Finance runs this way. It's like, oh, okay, that sounds good. So this is exactly what we want. Yeah, before my mom interrupted me. 
right? They're obviously overweighting the base token. The rare, rare in this case, right? I know it's starting to get a little confusing. So the base, the base liquidity pool, which is over here, right? That's the most important thing because you always want to stay above peg. Because as long as, because the higher this price goes, the the stronger demand for a, a rare share there will be. It's like, oh my God, look at the value of the of the base tokens. I, I got to buy the shares and put in the boardroom so I can like you know print a lot of money. And that's and it's really smart. That's how it goes. And of course, maybe you want a, a hybrid of the two, rare R share LP. This is also actually really good too. So I guess you could also go into this too, but. Right now, I'd rather just go with base tokens, right? Because nowadays, I'm no, I'm no longer dealing with shares. I only I'm only doing rare based, or uh, base tokens on Tomb Forks these days. Because I just don't want to deal with the price volatility of shares, right? Because if we look, let me pull up the chart for. Uh, yeah, let me let me pull up the chart for you guys. Okay, rare shares. Oh wait a minute, it's rare shares. I'm not going to base, right? This thing is down. Yeah, this thing in Dow is in the last 24 hours down 48, 49%, just like rare. But here's the thing. It went from, it basically went from like $3,100 to like 1500 That's way, that's way too much as an absolute amount of money. That's way too effing much, right? It's like, you know, I don't want to deal with that, you know? So speaking of which, we can look at the charts over here too, so... Wait, I didn't even go over the boardroom. So you can take your pick, but I'm always in the base token CZ. Because again, when when your when your tomb project goes under peg, everyone always shifts their bias immediately to the base token pair. So that's another reason why I do this. I don't even do this because some tomb forks like Zilla Finance, they actually raid, and I think it's a mistake, but it's not that big of a mistake. They actually raid the APR from the base token slash slash share liquidity pool and put in put it into the base token pair anyway. So you know what? I rather just get the benefit of that and just 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 not have to ever worry about it and just happily compound on yield wolf. <clears throat> so see, Satan's trying to screw us over, right? My mom's calling me for no reason. I got frogs in my throat. It's like, you know, like, how, how do we deal with something like this? So this is pretty funny. <laughs> it actually said burr while I was waiting. All right, so I had to right click so I could get the so I search Google for. Okay, so it says APR daily at Epoch. I don't understand. Okay, I'm just going to look at it this way. All right, so the daily boardroom printing is 17.5%. But the epoch shows 4.37%. So, oh, every epoch it prints 4.37% new tokens. Got it. <clears throat> and APR is the uh, annual APR. So basically, the boardroom prints slightly less than the liquidity pools, but still prints quite a bit. I don't know what this kick the printer thing does. And I get an error up here that says unable to kick the printer, allocate seniorage, and then copy error details. So I don't know what that is. Okay, I can actually select the number of shares stake. So there's 403 rare shares staked in the boardroom right now. And of course, so they're actually pretty nice about the epoch locking. You're only locked in for 12 hours. So that's actually pretty interesting. Because I think the like past couple of past couple of tomb fork videos, right? I keep forgetting to actually cover the boardroom because I just don't even think about the boardroom anymore. Right, but I mean, you guys. I mean, for those of you who are in the doing boardroom stuff, I mean, I already provided the link in the YouTube description, so you just take a look for yourself. Because obviously, what matters is ultimately the project and the base token pair, anyway. So if that goes down, so does everything else, and when that goes up, everything else goes up. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, you just gotta try to keep things simple if possible. All right, so not much to say about the charts, right? I mean, this thing is tanking as of last night because of Andre Kranje. It also happened to be way over peg, but it was holding its peg very well. It was like really powerful. So I'm not really sure what's gonna happen, but in a way I kind of don't care because right now Yield Wolf again is paying, you know, 18%. Now this number is actually gonna probably keep going down, right? If the base token pair keeps going down. But we're just gonna have to see what happens with Andre Kranje stuff. 
But yeah, I'm going to be, uh, when I do my daily t profit taking later tonight, you know, on my phantom chain, I'm definitely going to put it into, you know, uh, rare finance. So, plus, you know, you know, I'm going to be like this Pepe, right? I got the nice little high value monocle. I don't smoke, so I don't get a cigar. And of course, that nice shiny suit with the nice shiny suitcase. <laughs> I really like these. I I just love the graphics on this. It's it's so good. S rare when yeah, I mean, it's so memeable, right? It, it, it this is this this might actually be coded by like a young zoomer kid. Like I'm gonna be surprised. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> you look at that. This is so funny. Deposit rare and LP R rare R share. Don't forget to take profits. Oh, this is actually this actually is instructions. Let me hide my look in the upper right corner. These are actually instructions on the whiteboard. Don't forget to take profits. Ten to fifteen percent. Not financial advice. With love from the rare team. This is so cool. This is such a great project. Wow. <laughs> I love this. See, this is the kind of cool people that are actually on Phantom. All right, so you know, Phantom's not completely screwed. In fact, you know, I think this is actually a great thing that's happening right now. So just flush out the trash, essentially, and then I don't know. Hopefully, you know, we'll get some. Uh, you know, we'll probably get some progress on Phantom. I mean, if not, I mean, Phantom could just simply remain like a a niche blockchain because that's technically what Phantom really is. So I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. Because AVAX is just doing very swell. There's a lot more Tomb Forks coming down the pipeline, including Gray Finance and Sub Zero Finance. They're on AVAX. So, you know, I'm glad. That, and, and, like, at this point, people have got to be pretty pissed off about these, about these constant problems in FTM. So, yeah. I mean, it's already, it's already, it's already starting to, you know, cl uh, clear up. It's at 2,000 now. So. Yeah, this is good. I'll actually be able to, you know, I'll definitely, yeah, this should definitely clear up by tonight, like another 12 to 13, 14 hours. Okay, and of course, you got your good old Yield Wolf. I'm going to risk it and just hit, re oh, okay, so it actually loaded instantly. Okay, this is good. Yeah, so basically Yield Wolf is giving 18% right now. I'm actually expecting this to go down as rare shares go down. Of course, rare, rare, the base token for rare goes down as well. Okay, I what? Wait, let me look at something. This doesn't look right. So a seven hundred eighteen dollar buy resulted in a two dollar forty cent increase, but in a smaller sell. Let me see what's going on here. Okay, so right now there's a lot of creep. Okay, so is Phantom going up and down a lot? Is that what's happening? Let me see. Phantom, Phantom, Phantom. Oh yeah, there's Osmosis. Where is Phantom? A uh, dollar forty-three. No, Phantom is generally pretty stable, and Bitcoin's almost back at thirty-nine k, so that's good. Okay, so it's actually okay. I'm actually going to need to pull up based tokens. Yeah, rare based. Okay. Hold on, let me get the base token. Yeah, so I did actually need that chart. All right, let's take a look at what's happening with base. So base is down to $1.91. Okay, so let me see. Uh, okay, I see what's happening. Ugh. So this is gonna get. So that's an, this is gonna be a little messy too. But in general, if base is going up and all the tune forks and phantom are going up. And crypto overall is going up, right? As we can see over here, then this should go back up as well. So right now the price differential is actually being caused by base going up and down like crazy right now too. So there's a lot of volatility going on. But again, you know, thanks to Yield Wolf, I don't really care, right? You know, I just, I just get like lots of money. And in fact, people still don't really mind. Look, I mean, the TVL is still pretty good, 328k essentially, and someone literally just compounded just now, 41 seconds ago. So it's looking pretty good. I mean, again, I mean, I'm so spoiled with the 25 to 30% or 35% daily APR, but yeah, that's fine. All right, so hopefully uh, rare shares and rare itself will recover pretty pretty quickly. 
All right, but again, we're just gonna have to wait out this Andre Karanje uh, FUD, and then whenever that resolves, then you know whatever. So, check out Pega Industries, right? Rare Finance, uh, very good APR. My new strat, my strategy right now is to try to find legit high APR Tomb Forts, so that because at this point, pretty much everything pretty much goes down all the time. So the ideal is to find something like PDO and Snowy Owl, but right now there's only two projects that I know that are legit that do that. Snowy Owl and PDO. Everything else is, you know, tied to, you know, you know, the base token, right, of the native blockchain. So AVAX or Phantom or whatever, right? So, yeah, but with that being said, you know, I, you know, I'm down with, you know, farming 5, 10% or whatever, right? It's just that when things start getting to like 1, 2, 3, even 4% or 5%, it's like, yeah, I'm going to start shifting money around and chase the higher APR. Because basically, I view it as this. My risk is the same, right? The to all the tokens, even the safe ones, will drop like crazy. So you might as well farm the higher APR because it's more reward for the same amount of high risk. Not just same risk, but same high amount of risk. So, and of course, you, you have to have Yield Wolf, right? Unless you want to do manual compounding, right? I, I, I don't have time to do that. And on top of that, I actually lose money doing manual compounds because I can only compound how many times a day, right? But with Yield Wolf, I'm, cost, I'm compounding like 10, 20, probably 24 times a day, right? Once an hour on average if not more than that, on all of my projects. Like, you know how much in gas fees I save? Because, you know, whenever someone deposits, withdraws, or, you know, hits this community compound button, or the amount of, you can't see it here because I don't have anything in here, but the amount of pending rewards is like, I guess, whatever this number formula is, it all automatically compounds. So you have... You have the world, the internet, crowdsourcing your constant compounding, right? Basically, everything becomes auto cake from pancake swap. Remember, I used to talk about that. That's exactly. It, it, it's it's just you just it's just impossible to manually deal with that. So, so well, so that's why. And oh man, seventeen point eight percent. Eh, that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. So whenever this does its thing. All right. So I think I've rambled on long enough. Check out Papega Industries, aka rarefinance.biz. And <laughs> this is such a cool project. So I'm, I'm glad that they're not a scam. And even despite all the crap that's going on, the TVL is still 2.6 million. So they'll come back stronger than ever. And Let's see. Yeah, I mean, spies and cells are going to be crazy right now because the, the, these fees are just just a huge problem. So, all right. So, well, it should, I mean, okay, let me take a look real quick. Okay, exome, grave, rare. All right, so pretty much tomb forks across the board are doing poorly. PDO and Snow are doing well. Joe's down a little bit. Piggy is down. Zilla, Z shares are down. Of course, Snow shares. Two ohm and three ohm projects are doing pretty much slightly above what it was yesterday before the pump. And then it pumped and then now it got dumped. Okay. Even two ohm and T shares are down a lot. And Caesar Finance, of course, is skyrocketing consistently. Yeah. I've been adding a lot of Caesar every day as much as I could possibly add. And I definitely will be looking to improve my Poseidon positions once everything clears. Right? And I have more money uh, from my Tomb Forks on Phantom. And Titan is still holding pretty well, so yeah, APU is getting hit hard, but that's because they need to reduce the amount that you can sell per day. It's the sell limit's still way too high. You gotta have a very small amount of. I don't know how to say it, but basically, you can sell too much APU. It, it, it's killing the project. I mean, they'll eventually figure it out, so it's not a big deal. But you know, and Unif is doing pretty well too. So yeah, so overall. People are, so again, I actually think what's actually happening is crypto overall is doing well, but the Andre Crandre people are dumping all of their tomb forks. So, all right, you know, we'll take, we'll take their bags. They can get the F out, right? GTFO to those toxic pricks. And then hopefully 
this might shake out some of the super predators too that have been plaguing us too. So, all right, works for me. Uh, Eleven forty nine. Yeah. So this thing is going up and down. So this is doing pretty well. All right. I'll see you in the next video. I've rambled on long enough, and it will be grave finance. Yes. Now it is a little spooky, but you'll get used to it. Plus, you know, if you've been doing the Christian stuff I've been telling you with Jesse Lee Peterson, you shouldn't be afraid anyway, because it's just like, oh, it's just crazy graphic horror film. Yeah. See, base is already going up already. Yeah. This thing's already going back up. So, whatever. I'm very happy. All right. Like, subscribe, share, blah, 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 blah. And yeah, I really like this project. I mean, hey, who, how, how can you not love, how can you hate, how can you hate on, uh, you know, Pepe the Frog, you know, Pepe the Frog, right? <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.